In today's video, we are going to start a series of discussion on quadratic equations. And this time, we are going to illustrate what is quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree of 2 that can be written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. That means the highest exponent in quadratic equation is 2, where ax squared is a quadratic term, bx is a linear term, c that is a constant. And for as long as you have a quadratic term, you have a quadratic equation. And always remember, before you identify the value of a, b, and c, you must write the given equation in standard form. So this is the basic concept that you need to remember in illustrating quadratic equations. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first set of example, we are going to identify which of the following equations are quadratic and which are not. On number 1, we have 3m plus 8 equals 15. Since the highest exponent is 1, so this is not a quadratic equation. On number 2, we have x squared minus 5x plus 10 equals 0. Since the highest exponent is 2, so this is a quadratic equation. On number 3, we have 12 minus 4x equals 0. Number 3 is a linear equation and the highest exponent is 1, so this is not a quadratic equation. Number 4, we have 2t squared minus 7t equals 12. As you can see, the highest exponent is 2, so this is a quadratic equation. On number 5, we have 6 minus 2x plus 3x squared equals 0. Number 5 is not written in standard form, but still the highest exponent is 2. So therefore, this is a quadratic equation. On number 6, we have 25 minus r squared equals 4r. So the highest exponent here is 2, so we have a quadratic equation. On number 7, we have 3x times the quantity x minus 2 equals negative 7. If you are going to simplify the equation, we are going to come up with a quadratic equation. So let us have 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6x. And if you are going to move negative 7 on the other side, this will be positive 7 equals 0. So therefore, this is a quadratic equation because the highest exponent is 2. On number 8, we have 1 half times quantity h minus 6 equals 0. If you are going to multiply 1 half on h minus 6, still the highest exponent is 1. So therefore, this is not a quadratic equation. On number 9, we have quantity x plus 2 squared equals 0. So by mirror inspection, the highest exponent is 2, so this is a quadratic equation. But if you are going to simplify this one, this will be x times 2 itself, that is x squared, x times 2, that is 2x times the constant 2, that is 4x, and 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4 equals 0. Still, the highest exponent is 2. On number 10, we have quantity w minus 8 times quantity w plus 5 equals 14. If you are going to multiply the first term, you are going to come up with w square. So therefore, this is a quadratic equation. On the second set of example, we are going to write each equation in standard form, which is ax square plus bx plus c equals 0, and we are going to identify the values of a, b, and c. So let's start with the first example. On number 1, we have 3x minus 2x squared equals 7. So to write this one in standard form, let us move 3x and negative 2x squared on the other side of the equation. So let us write first the quadratic term that is positive 2x squared. And then followed by linear term that is negative 3x. And then let us write 7 and then equals 0. So this will be the standard form, and to find the value of a, that is 2, b, that is negative 3, 
and C, that is 7. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have 5 minus 5x squared equals 6x. So let us move 5 and negative 5x squared to make this one as a standard form of equation. So let us write first the quadratic term that is positive 5x squared followed by linear term that is 6x. And then from positive 5, it became negative 5 equals 0. And the value of A, that is 5, B, that is 6, and C, that is negative 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 0. So to make this one a standard form of equation, let us multiply the two binomials. Let us have x times x, that is x squared, and x times 4, that is 4x, 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 4, that is 12, equals 0. So let us combine like terms. Let us have x squared plus 4x plus 3x is 7x plus 12 equals 0. So this will be the standard form. And the value of A is 1, B, that is 7, and C, that is 12. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have quantity 2x plus 7 times the quantity x minus 1 equals 0. So just like in example number 3, let us foil this one. We have 2x times x, that is 2x squared. 2x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2x. 7 times x is 7x. And 7 times negative 1 is negative 7 equals 0. So let us simplify this one. Let us have 2x squared, negative 2x plus 7x is 5x. And then let us write negative 7 equals 0. So the value of A, that is 2, B, that is 5, and C, that is negative 7. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have 2x times quantity x minus 3 equals 15. So let us simplify this one to make this equation a standard form. Let us have 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6x equals 15. And let us move 15 on the other side of the equation. We are going to have 2x squared minus 6x from positive. It became negative 15 and then equals 0. So this will be the standard form. And the value of a, that is 2 b that is negative 6 and c that is negative 15 and this will be our answer on number 6 we have quantity x plus 7 times quantity x minus 7 equals negative 3x so let us simplify this one let us have x times x is simply x squared x times negative 7 is negative 7x and 7 times x is 7x and 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. And let's equate to negative 3x. So let us cancel this one. We are going to have x squared minus 49 equals negative 3x. And let us move negative 3x on the other side of the equation. Let us write x squared followed by linear term that is positive 3x. Let us write negative 49 equals 0. So this will be the standard form, and the value of A is 1, B that is 3, and C is negative 49. And this is our answer. On example number 7, we have quantity x minus 2 squared plus 8 equals 0. So to write this one in standard form, let us square a binomial. Let us have x multiplied by itself, that is x squared. And x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2x times the constant 2 that is negative 4x. And negative 2 multiplied by itself that is positive 4. And then let's write 8 equals 0. So let us add this one. This will be x squared minus 4x. 4 plus 8 that is 12 equals 0. And the value of a that is 1, b that is negative 4, and c that is positive 12. And this will be our answer. 
On number 8, we have quantity x plus 2 squared equals 3 times the quantity x plus 2. So let us square this one. Let us have x times x, that is x squared. x multiplied by 2, that is 2x times the constant 2, that is positive 4x. And 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. And then 3 times x, that is 3x. And 3 times 2, that is 6. So to simplify this one, let us move 3x and 6 on the other side of the equation. So let us have x squared plus 4x. Then from positive, it became negative 3x. Let us have 4 minus 6 equals 0. So let us have x squared, 4x minus 3x, that is x. And 4 minus 6, that is negative 2, equals 0. So this will be the standard form. And the value of a is 1, b is also 1, and c is negative 2. And this will be our answer. Example number 9, we have quantity 2x minus 1 square equals quantity x plus 1 square. So to write this one in standard form, let us square its binomial. Let us have 2x times to itself, that is 4x square. And then 2x multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2x times the constant 2, that is negative 4x. And negative 1 times to itself, that is positive 1. On the other side, that's sub x times to itself, that is x squared. And then x times 1, that is 1x times the constant 2, that is 2x. And 1 multiplied by itself, that is 1. So to simplify, let us move this side of the equation on the other side. So this will be 4x squared. And then let's have negative x squared. And let us write negative 4x. From positive 2x, it became negative 2x, and then we have 1, and let's have negative 1 equals 0. So 4x squared minus x squared, that is 3x squared. Negative 4x minus 2x is negative 6x, and let us cancel this one, and let's equate to 0. So this will be the standard form. And the value of a, that is 3, and b, that is negative 6, and C, that is 0 because we don't have a constant term. And this will be our answer. On number 10, we have 2x times the quantity x plus 4 equals quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. So let us have 2x times x, that is 2x squared. And 2x times 4, that is 8x. And then we have x times x, we have x squared, x times negative 3, that is negative 3x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So let us move this one on the other side. So this will be 2x squared followed by negative x squared. Let us have 8x. So let us add this one that is negative 6x and let us move on the other side that is positive 6x from positive 9 became negative 9 equals 0. So let us have 2x squared minus x squared is simply x squared. 8x plus 6x that is 14x minus 9 equals 0. So this will be the standard form and the value of a is 1, b that is 14 c is negative 9 and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all